What's up YouTube, it is Mick from Mick Focus Photography and recently I made this pic for Halloween of my son. As you can see back on the monitor there. And I posted it up on Instagram and on a couple of photography pages that I'm on on Facebook. And I got a bit of feedback and, uh, from people wanting to know how I actually made the image. I've whipped up a little bit of a tutorial on how to do that. So please, stay tuned and we'll catch it on the other side in Lightroom and Photoshop. Check it out. The first thing that I did was I brought my picture into Lightroom. As I always do, I've got all my various images of, of Lincoln from the day there. This was the one that I went with, only because it's the one that he was looking straight at me, wasn't moving around, pulling funny faces or anything like that. Now then I, this, so this is the before. What I did then was I went straight to a preset, which is not what I normally do, but this one I knew exactly what I was going to do. I do have some presets here. Uh, these ones are from a guy called North Borders. I'll add a link down below so you can see that. I also have some of my own ones in here. None of these quite worked the way I wanted to, but then there's one I randomly got from somewhere, I don't know where. Um, this one's called Abandoned Industry. Sorry, I can't give a link to that because I don't remember where I got that from. Uh, if I do remember, I will add it to the link down below. So I've kicked off with that one. As you can see up here in the, in the navigator that it's, it's quite a dark and evil looking one and that was perfect for this situation. So now if I hit this, this will jump forward to where, where we were at. So as you can see, it's given that dark, ghoulish kind of a look. But to add to it, this wasn't exactly how it started off. Add to it, I've just got some adjustment brushes in there. Kicked off with this first one here, which has painted his face, his ears, his neck. And all I've done was I pulled the texture down, pulled the clarity down, just to get it to that nice grayish, washed out, undead look that he really wanted to go with and that I really like. Then secondly, I've also added some darkness around the eyes there. You can see I've just painted around the eyes just to make them a little bit darker, a little bit more undead. And the only thing I've done was brought down the exposure on that one, nice and easy. I then uh, hit done and the image is right where I want it. I right clicked on here, edit in, edit in Photoshop, send it away to be added to this background. Now when we jump into Photoshop here, I always hit Control J and then I do myself a background layer. I don't need one because we've already got one in here. And then what I've done is a right click convert it to a smart object so that way when it's a smart object we can add in this camera raw and smart filters and we can always go back and change them if we're not if we're not happy with them and as you can see that's the after so that's the before that's the after but then once we've changed it to a smart image come up here to camera raw filter or shift Control a if you want to use it hotkeys now this shows exactly what I've done so I pulled down the exposure up the contrast pulled down the highlights shadows the whites left the blacks where they are added in a bit of texture pulled down the clarity didn't do any dehaze but I have added a graduated filter over the top and in that one again I've pulled down the exposure added more contrast pulled down the highlights added in quite a bit more dehaze, added some more clarity. I probably could have pulled that down. Um, texture, blacks. I've, I've played with a little bit of everything in there just to really get that the way that I wanted. And there wasn't too much more on that one. So then we hit OK. And you can see the difference. It's already made it nice, dark and evil. I've then brought in my image of Lincoln well let's actually select it that'll work better so that's it with him missing and then back to so i've just put a mask over there and then cut him out just so we can 
just a quicker way of doing things and there he is he's nice and happy the way he is there now just to make it a little bit more evil i've attached a curves layer to lincoln so as you can see there all i've done was just added a curves if you click this guy here that'll attach it to the layer below and this layer 2 wasn't there but that one will attach it to the this image here all i've done was pull the blacks down just to make him dark make it uh, a little bit more evil give it a bit more shadows in there especially around on this left side here which is where we really wanted it and then i've played a little bit with the vibrance again we double click on there we go into the vibrance you can see i've pulled the numbers down just made it a bit darker and i've linked it to the layer below so it's just to to the picture of my little vampire link in there so if we jump back to the start you can see we've got this quite plain but still mysterious evil building we've added in the darkness and made it look nice and evil we brought lincoln in and then i've changed him around a bit to make him fit in a little bit more to that background that's exactly how we wanted it that's how he wanted it so there we go that's how i made my little vampire so there you have it that was pretty simple wasn't it now, if you do like what you saw, please feel free to like, subscribe, tap the bell for notifications and follow me for more of these types of things because I have plenty more in store where that came from. On that note, we'll catch you on the flip-flop. Peace.